In this video, we're gonna talk about four possible reasons for why God let your heart get broken. Number one, God may have let your heart get broken to teach you the eternal truth that he can turn everything for good for those who love him. There are spiritual truths and eternal truths that are so important that God will allow us to experience earthly pain and dissatisfaction if that's what's needed to help us learn this extremely important truth. One of those truths that is that important is the truth that God can turn everything for good and for his glory when we love him and follow him. That's a truth you've probably heard before if you've been a Christian for a while. Romans 8.28 is a very famous verse that, again, you've probably heard before. But the phrase I really want to draw attention to now is the phrase, for those who love him. God can turn anything for good for anyone, but according to this passage, he only does that for those who love him. So God is not just cutting blank checks for everyone in the universe, turning everything the way that they want it to be turned. While God does show amazing grace to the entire world, he only shows his special grace to those who put their faith in Jesus Christ, repent of sin, and truly love God by following him. Water has the power to refresh anyone, but water only refreshes those who drink it. Likewise, God can turn anything for good for anyone, but according to Romans 8, 28, only those who love God will experience his power working for them in this way. It states, and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. You have to remain faithful to God to experience Romans 8, 28. You will not experience the full goodness of God unless you truly love and follow him through the storms of life. Through every experience in life, including through the pain of a broken heart, God is constantly seeking to show us that he can turn anything for good if we keep loving him no matter what. If you let a heartbreak turn you from God, you will not experience his goodness. So what does it mean to love God? 1 John 5 verse 3 says, For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. To experience Romans 8.28, you can't rebel against God when your relationships fail. When you don't receive what you really wanted, you have to keep loving God so he can show you the truth that he can turn anything for good for those who love him. Number two, God could have let your heart get broken by someone to expose a relationship idol in your life. An idol is when we worship something or love something more than God. Oftentimes, God will expose an idol in our life by letting this idol carry the full weight of our hopes and desires. God made us for himself. That means he made us for a perfect God. God will expose the imperfect gods in our life by showing us how much they fall short of him by letting them bear the full weight of our needs. Anytime you put a false god to the test, it will always fail you. Do you remember those toys as a child where you would have a shape that would fit into a certain slot? So the circle shape would fit into the circle hole, the rectangle shape would fit into the rectangle hole, and so on. And if you put a shape in the wrong hole, it would fall through and it wouldn't really fit. Likewise, the hole in our heart is a God-shaped hole. And when you try to fill that hole with a false God shaped in the form of a relationship, it's not big enough and it just falls through that hole and it doesn't actually fill you. So one of the reasons God may have let your heart get broken is to show you that a relationship cannot fill your heart, only God can actually do that. As 1 John chapter 5 verses 20 through 21 state, and we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding so that we may know him who is true. And we are in him who is true, in his Son, Jesus Christ. He is the true God and eternal life. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. And if you're enjoying this video, subscribing is one of the best ways you can show your support for me and the AGW channel. 
This will also make sure you don't miss out on the conversation the AGW community is having every time I release a new relationship video. Number three, God may have let your heart get broken by someone to teach you to listen to his warnings. God will only warn us so many times before allowing that thing that he was warning us about to actually happen in our lives. This can be seen in Mark 14 when Jesus repeatedly warned Peter about his future denial of Jesus. So first Jesus just warned him outright that he was going to betray him and Peter didn't believe him. And then three times Jesus told Peter to prepare for the future temptation ahead by praying and those three times Peter fell asleep. And then at the end of Mark 14, what Jesus was warning Peter about actually occurs. Likewise, in our lives, God will only warn us so many times before allowing that consequence or that thing he was warning us about to actually happen. So I remember growing up playing ice hockey and during practice, the coach would warn us, don't skate across the middle of the rink with your head down because in a game, the opposing players will see your head down and just clock you. You'll just body check you and hit you really hard. And while we would try to listen to that verbal warning, we all learned that lesson the hard way by going into the game and actually skating with our head down and getting our clocks cleaned, getting totally nailed by the opposing player. Again, those verbal warnings were helpful, but eventually the coach just had to let us learn the hard way in the actual game. Likewise, when we ignore God's warnings, he'll allow us to learn that lesson the harder way in real life. So it is possible that God let your heart get broken to teach you to listen to his warnings in the future. And number four, God could have let your heart get broken by someone because he overruled your desires in kindness. One of the reasons it's so hard to have a healthy, long-term relationship with someone is because that over time, two people never remain the same. In very short, incremental ways, who you are today will be different than who you are tomorrow. And who you are in 10 years will be very different than who you are in one year. Only in God's sovereignty can he see the entire future. And when he sees something down the line that we're unable to see and factor into the equation, God in kindness often overrules our desires because he knows things that we don't yet know. Additionally, when you remain faithful to God after a heartbreak, Years down the line, or maybe months down the line, you'll often then realize that God did you a huge favor because then he gives you a relationship that is far better than the one that you thought was perfect for you. So sometimes God lets your heart get broken by someone now because he has plans to give your heart away to someone different later on. And even if this scenario doesn't play out in your life, although it commonly does play out this way, Either way, we can trust God in his sovereignty that he has a good plan for our lives, even when we don't fully understand what that plan is right now. As Isaiah 55 verses 8 through 9 teaches us, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Here's another video about how God can heal your heart. And if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, it's a great way to show your support and to stay connected so you get notified every time I post a new video. I'm Mark from ApplyGodsWord.com. Really hope this was helpful to you. Until next time, God bless.